Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you've been following me for a minute, you know that I usually make the Tollmaster Pro videos. However, I'm also a proud owner of an Axe FX3. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to build a preset. I haven't touched my Axe FX3 since I got my Tollmaster Pro. And I just did all the updates, so I'm running the latest firmware. Uh, and we're basically going to do the same thing I've done for the Tollmaster Pro stuff. So it'll be interesting coming back to the Axe FX3 land um, after being with the Tollmaster Pro. So you're gonna see my raw reaction. Uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to do some editing because it's probably gonna take me a lot longer to dial in tones of the Axe FX3 than it does the Tollmaster Pro. However, if you're watching this and if you own a Tollmaster Pro or an Axe FX3, the big thing I want you to take away from this is a lot of the fundamentals of all of these videos apply to any modeler, even if you have the quad cortex or the helix. You just gotta take the information provided and apply it to your own system. All right, kind of a long intro, but now let's jump into it. Before we jump into today's content, about 78% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Listen, we've been growing really, really fast. I wanna continue to grow really, really fast. So if you wouldn't mind, Help me support this channel by hitting that subscribe button and that like button. I know it sounds silly, but it helps the YouTube algorithm gods. And uh, I'm just trying to pay my bills doing what I love. So I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, welcome back. Uh, first thing we got to do is we got to set up all of our inputs and outputs. So I don't know where this is going to go. Uh, I don't know what type of tone. Hang on. All right, the hard part's done. <laughs> now my guitar has sound. Uh, today's guitar, this is my number one guitar. Uh, her name's Amanda, if you're new to the channel. It's the only guitar in my life I've ever named. It's got a weird story. This guitar named herself. It's got a lot of mojo. This is my, this is my baby. This guitar sleeps in her case next to me every night. Like, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm weird with this guitar, but my wife, she puts up with it. All right. Well, so let's go ahead. We're gonna put. Um, honestly, it's kind of it's kind of refreshing coming back to the Axe Effects after being in the Tone Master Pro for so long. So I feel like I've created so much content with the Tone Master Pro. But the area that the Tone Master Pro is really struggling at for me is high gain. Like the Tone Master Pro crushes in cleans and the UI, but. Honestly, like the Axe FX3 was my first modeler, and this thing was just like so overkill. But let's see what amp. 59 Baseman. Um, I want to use the amp that I'm going to go with on this is going to be the Friedman amp. The Friedman on here, oh, I clicked the wrong one. The Friedman on the Axe FX3, so good. The Friedman on the Fender unit. Um, let's try the Dynacab. We're going to do... All right, that's pretty good out the gate. Uh, one thing we need to do is EQ. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right. <clears throat> so my high cut, I'm going to do 8,500. Then on my low cut, we're going to cut around 80. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, it just took me a minute. You guys probably won't see that because I edited it, but it took me a minute to figure out <laughs> where to do my cuts. It's been a minute since I've worked on this unit. All right, let's also add in a uh, I want reverb. It's alphabetically set up, but, you know, can't remember my ABCs. All right, let's go to block info. Quality ultra high. All 
Honestly, I kind of like that that hall. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see how this handles drop D. That sounds good. Good. That large hall sounds like you're playing on a big stage. Like, that is... Sometimes you can get, like, kind of wishy-washy with it where it sounds too fake or too... Um, what's the word I'm thinking about? Too, like, synthetic. That sounds very warm and organic. Uh, just because I haven't messed around with the axe effects in a minute, we're just going to test some of the reverbs. Oh, this is cool. You can actually mess around with the decay frequency, too. I'm going to drop the decay just a little bit. That should be here. Let's pull this down. Yeah, that's pretty good there. I enjoy that. All right, let's also go quick build. Uh, I'm going to put an overdrive pedal right in front of the amp. And let's go back to block. All right, we don't want that. We want, what would they call it on here? Probably that. We're going to push. Oh, this is a two pedal. All right, so let's see. Again, two drive. This amp is handling a distortion pedal really well. I'm looking for, I know the T808 is, I think it's supposed to be, uh, let me just try something. <laughs> All right, that's a that's pretty believable. I think I'm just going to leave it there. That's going to be my Friedman amp preset. That's exactly what I want. Wow, that didn't take me as long to dial in as I thought it was going to be. I didn't even mess with the amp settings. I just left it as is. This is pretty good for my Les Paul.
A right hand needs a warm up. Let's go to single coil mode. All right. I'm, I'm going to keep it there. I'm happy with that. That sounds so good. I was not expecting that to be so quick. All right, I'm probably going to just keep it here. The thing to remember, though, is, you know, the Axe FX3 was my first modeler ever. And when you first get into the Axe FX3, it's so overwhelming. But I've spent enough time with the Tone Master Pro and have learned enough tricks with the Tone Master Pro that it's really helping me get up to speed on the Axe FX really quick. So <laughs> if it takes you a lot longer to dial in a tone... Don't worry about it. Just keep keep at it, and it, you get better over time. Like I'm prime example of that right now. Um, biggest thing to keep in mind is you the cuts. Make sure you're doing the cuts. Yeah, cut your frequencies. That's going to help you out a ton in getting a more realistic tone. Uh, the amps are really good in the Axe. I mean, the Friedman is one of my favorite amps that I've messed with on here. I wish the Tone Master Pro's Friedman amp was as good as this one. Th this, I'm like, oh my god, this is actually really nice and enjoyable. And for those coming over from the Tone Master Pro videos, I can still make more, so don't think this is mutually exclusive. I've got both of these toys, and I have to learn to master them. My only downside with the Axe FX3 is that it's just so dang big, because uh, I have the Axe FX3 with the FC12 board and the expression pedal. Now, the cool thing is is that I will probably use my Tone Master Pro pedal uh, with the Axe FX3 because I enjoy the toe switch. I'm not an auto wah guy. I I I don't like that. I like to tap on and off. You know, I, I, <laughs> I'm a boomer with my gear getting into all this stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think we're probably going to cut it there. If you're interested in downloading this preset, I'm going to figure out how to export it and I'll post it on my Patreon. So if you do own an Axe FX3 and if you, uh, I mean, you can watch this video and recreate exactly what I did. I'm not going to gatekeep, but if you do want to support the channel and if you do just want to get instant access to this, uh, just go to check out my Patreon. Um, $5 a month. Not only will it get you all the tones that I make with the Axe FX3 from here on out, but it will also give you uh, give you access to about I think I saw I have 94 articles published um, on top of all the lessons that I have in guitar content on there there's also an ebook that I wrote called guitar theory for songwriters five dollars a month my thing is I'm trying to give you I'm trying to give you at least fifty dollars worth of value for five dollars so it's a good deal on your behalf and mine um, and I, I would really appreciate your support let me know what you're grateful for in the comment section I love reading y'all's comments especially when you guys give me summaries of things that I talked about in here I'm like dang I talked about that dang I'm learning from you <laughs> but I'm a big goon and uh, I just really appreciate getting into the comment section and, and talking about all this stuff but with that I'm not gonna drag this video out any longer thank you guys so much for your support I'm going to do a little bit of guitar playing so you can hear this in action, and then we'll get going. Thank <laughs> you. 